Welcome back everyone to episode 3 of our Manchester City FM 16 save. Jen Caldo here and we are getting ready to kick off against Bournemouth. Um, quick recap of our last few matches. Uh, doing quite well in the league although Man United have played their weekly fixture ahead of us so we do need to win today if we're going to take back top of the table. Um, next few games away against Bournemouth. Away against Villa in the Capital One Cup, um, then Leicester, Zenit, and Watford. Uh, all those games need to be taken seriously, especially the Villa game. We do want to go after the quadruple. That is our goal in this save, so we need to make sure that we are winning all of our matches. Um, as a result, we're resting De Bruyne and Otamendi today. Silva, uh, sorry, uh, Sterling and John Stones coming into the first eleven. Um, we're on good form, so we should come out of this match with a good victory. Boric clears the football down the field. Bernat has won it back. Silva finds Torre. Sissoko's looking for Aguero, who's through on goal and scores. It's 1-0 to Manchester City. That puts us back on top of the table, and we are ready to get back into this game. Bournemouth have a corner. And O'Kane has just put it in. It's one all. Union O'Kane. Out of nowhere. Matt Ritchie with the ball on the right side of the pitch. But Nats won it back and now Aguero spun his defender. He's through on goal. Burrock with the save. Well, Bernat finds Fernando. Can we take the lead back before half time? Florenzi brings it forward from midfield. There's Sissoko out to Sterling. Can he whip it in? He finds Aguero. And Silva's there, 2-1. Back in front, right before half-time. Surely now we can kick on in the second half. Well, there might not be time in the second half, uh, before the second half here. Bournemouth coming back, looking for another instant reply. Francis with the ball. He looks for Pew. Hart makes the save. Pew hits the post. And Bournemouth almost got another instant reply. But now Aguero charging down the other end of the field. What can he do from here? Surrounded by Bournemouth players, but he's beaten his man, got into the box and got a shot off. Brilliant play from Sergio Aguero, a man on a mission today. Florenzi with the throw. We're in need of a third goal. This game has been much closer than I anticipated. Florenzi still got the ball. Does find Sterling. Torre back out to Florenzi. He can whip in a good ball from here. Finds Sissoko, and that's 3-1. There's the breathing room that we needed. Musa Sissoko's first goal for us. Not been a bad signing so far. I thought he might be a flop, but he's doing well and we're 3-1 up. Bournemouth looking to get a goal back here. Since that third goal, we have pushed on, started to dominate the game, edging the possession up to that 60% mark. But here's one in Turbe, and Mangala's given the penalty away. This could put us in for a nervy last 10 minutes. We have had three penalties for us already this season, so it's probably fair that we had one against us. But Mangala gets away with the yellow card. Chance for 3-2. Daniel steps up and scores. And this is going to be a worrying last 12 minutes. We'd start to get back on top of the game. Luckily, we haven't had a man sent off, so we should be okay. But we need to see this game through. Gail yeah, Clichy puts the ball into Yaya Torre. Now Sissoko beats his man. He's got Aguero run off the shoulder of the defender if you can find him. Steady finds Florenzi. Matt Ritchie's gone through on him there. He's not on a booking, so unless this is a straight red, it should be a free kick highlight. And is the yellow card for Matt Ritchie? I think there should be something resulting from this free kick. Sterling takes it, puts it in. Amangala at the back post. He makes up for giving away the penalty and surely wraps up the three points for us. It'll put us back on top of the league and keep us breathing just ahead of United. Matt Ritchie now puts the ball into a faux bay and a turbo base there. And it's 4-3, the second game in a row away from home. We're winning 4-3. Well, this has been another nervy finish. Not over yet. Smith and Stanislas working to create something. Mangala clears it. Barker brings it away. Boric was out of his goal, so that may have been 5-3. But I will settle for a win. And what a tight win that was. Yet again, we should have comfortably romped home 
and yet our defence has leaked the goals. We did change the defence around with some substitutions, but we need to be seeing those games out a lot more comfortably than we are. So now it's time for the League Cup match against Aston Villa. We are away from home yet again. Uh, hopefully this one doesn't lead to a chaotic 4-3 win. A win would be good, but I'd rather not go through the stress of conceding so many late goals. Uh, we are changing the team around a bit. Wilfred Bonnie getting his first start. Brendan Barker getting his first start. Um, Mangala, I think, might be starting his first match. Zabaleta is um, still a very strong squad. David Silva slotting into the centre of midfield. Raheem Sterling on the left. Company in there. I'd expect us to win this comfortably, but we do have the big players on the bench like Aguero if we are in trouble. Um, but we need to be winning this match today. Sissoko throws the ball in, but Bonnie has won that. Now Barker has it as he finds Torre. Clichy can whip in a great cross from this position. He does find Sterling. And now Clichy again to Bonnie. Torre and Torre cannot stop scoring. Goal number five for Yaya Torre already this season from the centre of midfield. And it's 1-0. Well, this hasn't been the greatest game of football in the world. Uh, we are winning 1-0. It does look like it's another highlight. John Stones clears it out. We have dominated this match. This is not the time to concede. Bakuna finds... Oh, Stones just about clears it out. Ian Acho looks to break forward, but Michael Richards has it. Sterling with a load of space. He's got Ian Acho ahead of him. He does find Ian Acho. Oh, ball given away again. We need to see out this match. We've conceded six goals in the last two games. Bonnerhall can make it seven. He finds Reed, and there it is. It's one-one. We're going to extra time. Harrison Reed, that is not what we needed. We've got corner. Sterling puts it in. It's cleared out. Torres there. Sterling again puts it in. Inacho's done it. In the hundred and third minute. Kalichi Inacho gets his first goal of the season, puts us back in front, and deservedly so. Zabaleta with a throw to Barker. He finds Florenzi. There's Sissoko. Inacho again. And there it is. An unnecessary extra 30 minutes of football, which is not good when we've got a game against Leicester next. But we are staying in all full competitions. Well, there's not going to be penalties. Kalichi Inacho has saved our bacon today. Uh, this save could have basically been over at the first real hurdle. Um, instead, we march on. And we should be comfortably going through here. There is a full-time whistle. We have got the win. But I'm not happy with the way that came about. Um, I'm going to let the players get on with that. But we really need to turn away those leaky goals in the last sort of 20 minutes of the match. Time to play the real-life champions of England, Leicester City. We are at home here. Uh, should be winning. Especially with the form we've been on lately. Uh, in between games we were drawn with Sunderland uh, in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup so should be comfortably progressing into the fifth round there uh, we will be at, at home against Sunderland uh, today we're back to a sort of full strength side we are giving Yaya Toure a rest putting Florenzi into the centre midfield position and John Stones out at full back Kolarov uh, you may have seen picked up an injury in the last game it's not major but it will rule him out of this match um, but Aguero returns up top and I'm hoping we'll come out with a comfortable win and maybe a clean sheet would be nice Mark Schwarzer puts the ball out no Schmeichel in goal for Leicester today and Gala's cut that one David Silva, what can he do here? He's found Aguero Silva can take the slip ball but instead he's gone to Flor Florenzi De Bruyne might get there Schwarzer makes a save Florenzi into Sissoko. He finds John Stones out in the fullback position. He slips into Aguero, hits a post. Where's Morgan? Clears it out. He's been all us in the first 20 minutes. Nine shots, four on target. Leicester's still yet to get a shot and only 36 possession. Not untypical of the way they did play last season, but we should be coming out ahead here. Florenzi finds Aguero, slips it through to Silva. Surely now he's put it wide. And this is ominous. Silver with the corner. We're still utterly dominant here but without taking the lead. But here's Sissoko. Will he have a shot? He takes it to the right. Finds De Bruyne. Otamendi's picked it up. And Otamendi, of all people, the centre-back, has scored. It's the second time he's scored this season. But we'll finally make the dead 
break the deadlock after 15 shots to Leicester zero. Fuchs with a free kick. Leicester coming on the attack. There's Jeffrey Schlupp. That is Leicester's first shot on target. And if that had gone in, I would have been furious. We've had 25 shots and 65% possession. De Bruyne with a free kick. He puts it in. It's fallen to Fernando. That's 2-0. The substitute with a goal. Finally, after 27 attempts, we pick up our insurance policy. Marty bringing it forward. Fuchs on the ball now. Fine schlup. Cleared out by Atamendi. John Stones can hit this up the field. There are players ahead. Steady gives it away to Fuchs. And I really don't want to lose this clean sheet. Here's Jeffrey Schlupp. Puts it into All Brighton. And there's my clean sheet. It's 2-1. Yet again, we concede in the last 10 minutes of a match. Stones with the throw. He finds De Bruyne. Sissoko now. Oh, Sissoko scored from a tight angle. That is 3-1. A good performance today, although it was on a knife edge after that late goal. We should comfortably see out the match now. 30 shots today to Leicester's five. We need to be more clinical, but I'm enjoying the dominance. I'm enjoying the possession. We really just need to find our scoring boots. This is Zenit St. Petersburg, our first home match in the Champions League. Uh... I am putting out a strong team. If we win today, we then have two games against Star Bucharest, which if we win those as well, will put us on 12 points comfortably through so that we can focus on the Premier League and League Cup going into the end of the calendar year. Um, this is quite an important match. I think we need to be winning it. Um, keep up our good run of form. Everybody's playing well at the moment. Uh, Fernando doesn't have a very high rating uh, overall, but he did score in the last match. He is on form, um, and I think that we can pull out a good result. Again, I want to see a clean sheet. We have got a full-strength defence here, um, and I'm very disappointed at the number of late goals that we've been conceding. So if it's 1-0 and we get to the last 10 minutes, it will be squeaky bum time. First highlight of the match, De Bruyne has cut out the ball from the throw. Zenit have it back though. Hulk picks up the loose ball, but Bernat has a, released Aguero. And Aguero puts us a front. Seven minutes into the match, we have the lead. Sergio Aguero with the goal. He has been on fire so far this season. We've got a corner. Florenzi has a ball. He's found Fernando in a bit of space. Oh, great little pass through to find Florenzi again. He puts the ball in and David Silva scores. It's 2-0. We are comfortably ahead now. Zen, it's still only one shot in this game. Another corner. Florenzi to Sissoko. Danny can clear this away for Zenit. Instead, Florenzi's won the ball. Yaya Torre finds Silva. Aguero, quick movement in the final third. Here's Bernat. Hulk's got there, though. Keeping up the pressure here with Fernando finding Florenzi on the other side. Can he whip in the ball? He finds Aguero and it's 3-0. Sergio Aguero with his eighth goal of the season already. 3-0 up. Surely we're going to be comfortable now. Zenit with the chance here. We've won the ball back. Bernat to Silva Torre. Silva again. Moussa Sissoko now. Weaving through the players. Slips it through to Aguero. This is beautiful football. Now De Bruyne. De Bruyne scores, and what a good team goal that was from the left-back position all the way up to the top. Brilliant play, slick passing, and a great finish from De Bruyne for 4-0. Hulk now finds Danny. Fernando's won the ball back, but Nat can bring it forward. Is it about to be 5-0 in a similar situation? Silva's lost the ball to Witzel. Smolnikov puts it across... And shat of shat all over our clean sheet. It's 4 1. And while I'm enjoying the goals and the wins, I am not enjoying the conceded goals. And this looks set to be yet another victory for us. Four in the bounce in this episode, but still yet to get a clean sheet. Hopefully, in our next game against Watford. We can see the game through without conceding. 
It seems to be just sloppy lack of concentration. But Florenzi, can he make it five? He puts it into Iheanacho. But goalkeeper's there. Just ten seconds left. So I see another comfortable victory. Should put us easily through in the Champions League now. Just the next two games about stay at Bucharest should see us through comfortably. Time for our fifth game of the episode. Uh, all these matches have come within about three or four days of each other so far. Uh, we haven't had a week's break at any point, which is why all of the players are down at the 90 to 92% range. Some of them a bit fresher than others uh, because we've been able to rotate the squad. But I'm going to put a full strength team out as we've got the international break next. So it's up to their international managers to worry about their fitness. Um, I do want to keep a brilliant record uh, so far this season. If we can win today, I think that will be seven wins in eight league games uh, with the draw coming away at the Emirates. So we'll be in a fantastic position to kick on into the Christmas period. Um, a very strong side. I think we should come through this uh, with another good win. Watford with a free kick here. Oh, and Troy Deeney snuck it in at the near post. Joe Hart should not be conceding there. Watford well ahead on shots so far today. We've had all the possession. We need to be doing more with it. What do we have the throw here? Since they scored, we have been the better team, but we've yet to really create a good chance. We've not had one clear-cut chance in this match. David Silva's found Aguero, though. He's in the box. He's got nobody around him. He's going to do it himself, but he's put it wide. Watford have completely shut up shop since scoring. They haven't had a shot since. We've had 12 Five on target, but we've not been able to score, and I think this is probably going to be for full-time whistle. I think we've just lost our first ever match as Manchester City manager. And after winning the first four episodes, this is not what I wanted. We failed to keep a clean sheet. I had a feeling that the goals that we'd been scoring would dry up eventually, and I think the fatigue has just hit the players today. Watford are much fresher than us, but that's still not a good enough excuse. We should comfortably be winning this match, and instead... We're going to suffer our first defeat. Luckily, it's come in the league, but that is just unacceptable. Um, we'll have a look at the league table and how we've done so far this season. It is the international break next. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll skip past that so you don't have to watch me click through. Um, that defeat has pulled us back. We were three points clear, but Tottenham can now go top of the league if they win. They are the, they, well, they and Arsenal are the only unbeaten teams left. In the Champions League, we're doing perfectly fine in the fourth round of the Capital One Cup. If we look at our schedule. Up until that point, we were nearly perfect. Just that draw with Arsenal, but losing against Watford, not really acceptable. Uh, first game of next episode will be the derby against Man United um, we'll probably play through to the Newcastle match so we should have a few good wins we stour through to Newcastle but that United game is going to be a crunch point for us we need to win that to go clear at the top certainly of United hopefully of Spurs who might have overtaken us but that will be all for this episode thanks for watching um, if you've got any thoughts, tips, ideas, let me know. Uh, the new transfer window will only be a couple of episodes away, so let me know if there's anybody you think we should be signing uh, to fill gaps in the team. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed, and I will see you next time.